longer have expectations. I have requirements. Respect my time. Match my effort. Keep your word. Always be honest and stay consistent. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I am back again with another motherfucking video. All right, guys, so this is your daily readings, which is your daily predictions for 2023. Hey, guys, I'm your host, Ashley Williams, and this is a brand. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I know it's been a minute, but we back in this thing, January 2nd, and we're going to do your predictions for January for all Zodiac signs. What's up, y'all? Okay. I've been on a nigga break. I've been gone for a long time. Um, Twilight's home has been relocated. <laughs> she didn't get evicted, but um, she did get her stuff moved upstairs. So that's why Twilight's little area is not here anymore. All right, so we're going to start this off with Capricorn. These are going to be your Zodiac predictions for 2023. Capricorns for 2023 you are the one in the zodiac that never and when I say never I mean never gives up and while you have an excellent grasp on your financial security your overall health and well-being will bring on a little hit all the money in the world can't save you here so you really need to work on your um, health Capricorn what you're doing, what you're eating, and what you're putting in your body for 2023. You need to exercise, you need to eat right, and you need to cut back on the sweets, the alcohol. You also need to relax and play and have fun. Do your best to carry out a lot of like free-spirited activities for 2023. So Capricorn, even though you work a lot, you also need to make sure that you're putting the necessary things that you need into your body okay um also cut back on the sweets especially if you've been picking up a lot of candies and stuff like that chill with that chill with you know those little gas station stops okay um do your best to carry out a very carry free spirit for 2023 don't get too like bogged down in anyone's energy all right so let me see what your takeaway for capricorns okay so you guys need to understand that there is a divine source power. A lot of you guys feel like if you don't perform an action or you don't do something, it won't work. Well, it takes two. It takes this unforeseen force and it requires you. But you need to have more faith in this unforeseen force. Now, during this year, you could be seeing um, hummingbirds that is a huge transformational spirit animal I think that's like the second phase I believe there's five phases Capricorn but in 2023 help the universe know that all of the deepest needs okay help the universe and yourself know that all of your deepest needs will be met <clears throat> Trust the universe that they will plan and make the right actions and push you in the right directions so that everything that you need, Capricorn, is covered, is secured, and is, you know, straight moving forward. You have to have that ongoing faith that when people fall out of your life, when things fall out of your life, when jobs fall out of your life, it's because of divine source doing something for you, your higher self moving things out of your path, okay? <clears throat> All right, let's move on to Aquarius, okay? So Aquarius, you are a rebel, okay? Thinking outside of the box will most likely guarantee you success in 2023. So if anybody is telling you don't do this or don't pay attention to that, you are guaranteed success if you stay on your own path. You have a drive and ambition to cross off anything on your new year's resolution list so if you've already made a list just know that you have everything that you need to execute every single one on there in other words just make sure you do it with kindness make sure you do it with love and don't be very like cocky okay you might have to leave some things or people behind to reach the top so just know that aquarius you will be cutting some people off in 2023 but it's not because you don't want to it's just because your focus is going to be a little bit different okay you're going to put a lot of energy into building something all right let's see what your takeaway is for aquarius for 2023 
All right, so in 2023, you're gonna see a lot of signs and synchronicities. These signs are gonna lead you like focus, you know, 12, 12, stay on your path, two, two, everything's gonna be all right, eight, 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 stay focused, grind it out. You could see all kinds of messages, um, you know, your name on billboards, eight, 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 eight. It's gonna be a lot of different things, but just know that these messages are divinely guided and placed on your path, Aquarius. It is necessary for you to follow these messages, look them up when you see them. They could come in songs, colors, people. Um, you also could be getting unexpected money out of the blue, clients out of the blue. So just go with your instincts, follow them and trust your gut. All right, let's move on to Pisces. What is coming towards you in 2023? I'm sorry, in 20, yeah, that's right. <laughs> in 2023 for my Pisces. All right. So Pisces, this is a year of gratitude. So if last year you was real cocky, arrogant, wasn't grateful, disrespectful, this is going to be your year to maybe humble that ass. OK, so in 2023 is a year of gratitude for being thankful for everything that you have, everything that you sacrifice and how you got here today. This is also going to be a year for you to pay it forward so that you can do daily good deeds and perform random acts of kindness, which will also be returned to you throughout the year. You also need to celebrate and create what got you on track and set new long term goals to work towards them. So Pisces, you're going to be in a real grateful energy. Um, even if you've lost a lot, you're going to realize, man, that shit wasn't worth it, bro. <laughs> OK, you know, I just seen somebody. So maybe somebody co-signed on a car for you or you co-signed on a car for them and now they're putting it in their name. And maybe this burden may be rough, you know, because you're losing this responsibility. But it's also a relief. You know what I'm saying? That you don't have to be accountable for this person's stuff or your stuff or whatever the hell this is. OK, so Pisces, just know that you're going to be in a lot of gratitude in 2023. You're going to be looking back at all the stuff you lost in 2022. And you're going to realize it was a, the best thing that ever happened to you. All right, so Pisces, you got two cards. Damn, so Pisces, you're gonna be releasing what no longer serves you, which is gonna give you a new profound understanding of why new things come and why things need to be let go. You also have been limiting yourself a lot in 2023, which is gonna stop in, in 2022, which is gonna stop in 2023. You're gonna realize that your possibilities are endless, but it has a lot to do with your people that you have around you, the things that you're eating. And you're also you're also healing your inner childhood wounds. So the, these wounds with your parents, they could be your mom, siblings, adopted, it doesn't matter. But this is going to allow you to give yourself a lot more compassion, understanding where you came from, why you act that way, why you solve problems the way that you do, dealing with your mother, dealing with your father, dealing with those interactions. And you're going to be releasing a lot of these burdens because they've been revealed to you in 2022. And this is going to allow you to be more limitless and allow you to release that control that a parental may have over you or a sibling may have over you. All right. <clears throat> Let's move right along. OK, so next we're going to move to Libra. OK, so what do, what can my Libras expect for 2022? 2023 Libra, this is your year where you're going to jump off. OK. And you're going to fiercely choose yourself. Your relationships are going to be heightened during this time, too. So just know that, you know, relationships, people are going to be like, we don't want to spend time with me. Or, you you know, it's going to be a real fighting over you type scenario. OK, you can be like, damn, bitch, everybody can get a little bit of this. OK, Libra, you are the sign about justice and being fair. But during this 2023 season, you could be just being justice and fair to yourself, knowing that what you want and what you need needs to be put in the forefront and not on the back burner. You don't want to dim your light in 2023. You want to shake things up and you want to keep the peace. But if you're not getting what you want, it's time to revamp. Don't allow fear to keep you stuck, Libra. Hold your ground and speak your truth, okay? So a lot of people may be feeling like, damn, man, you be acting like you ain't got no time. You don't, Libra. It is your time to put yourself first. I got to turn my space heater on. The weather has been super crazy. One minute is summer the next minute it's winter <laughs> it's crazy all right so let's see what's coming towards my libras what can my libras expect 
All right, so Libra, you're going to be in a gratitude energy. You're going to be thankful for what you have. This could be hard for some of you guys because gratitude came out in reverse. You could be feeling like, I don't really got nothing that I'm grateful for. You better get the fuck out of that energy because waking up is still something that you need to be thankful for. So you need to be doing like a gratitude list right before you go to bed. I'm so thankful for my house. I'm so thankful for my car. I'm so thankful for my life. I'm so thankful for my kids. I'm so thankful for my generosity, you know? I'm still thankful for my consciousness. I'm still thankful for my understanding. You need to do a ritual all year. Every night you can remember it. Okay, Libra, being more thankful, being more grateful. Hummingbirds is very important too. And the lotus flower is also important. You also could be looking up that um, goddess who has all those hands and stuff. You may want to put her up in your house somewhere um, as well. Okay, let's move on to Scorpio. <clears throat> all right scorpio how are you doing let's look into your mini predictions for 2023 all right so scorpios in 2023 this is going to be a future planning okay so you're going to be planning your future you're going to be making a lot of decisions that are created towards your goals you're also going to be discovering that you have new visions for yourself and you're going to be trying your best to work work towards them you're also going to be cutting a lot of people out of your life, drama, toxic energies, people who keep secrets, lies. Uh, you want an easy and simple free life. And you feel like if it's complicated, if you have to second guess what people are saying, you're dropping them like flies. You're remembering to practice and participate in the rituals or just being consistent in your day to day routine because you know that that is where you will find the most reward and abundance. You will only try to help and keep things or relationships in your life that are in alignment with your deepest desires. Damn, Scorpio. So you ain't playing no games and you ain't taking no prisoners. Okay. If they ain't coming with the straight shooters, you hitting these holes with the facts, baby. All right. So let's see what's coming towards you as well for my Scorpios. Okay. So Scorpios, you have divine abundance. I ain't even playing with this. Okay. <laughs> so Scorpio, a lot of money is coming towards you. You could be seeing elephants a lot. Elephants also symbolize a strong um, foundation, a strong passion and a love that will last a lifetime. So you got a lot of divine abundance coming to you. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Scorpio. I'm really saying that because this is the card that came out. <laughs> okay, 12, 12 on the clock. You focused a lot, Scorpio. And I think this is why you're getting this divine abundance. Focus doesn't have to be putting a lot of energy into your career. But a lot of you guys have done that. It also means putting a lot of energy into yourself. Okay. You've also made a lot of right actions and all of these right actions have led you to the right path, the right place at the right time, Scorpio. I mean, I don't really think there's much left to say than goddamn run that motherfucking check up. Feel me? All right. So Sagittarius, what's going on? So let's see what's coming towards you in 2023. Now, Sagittarius. This just might be a very lucky year for you. That's what the fuck I just said. I mean, extremely lucky. You, Everything's going your way. New car, new house, new things, new things, new places, new activities, new trips, okay? This is a year for you to create, for your manifestations to come into fruition, for you to use your imagination and then for it to just mysteriously poof, uh, you know, like basically come in front of you. <laughs> You just might even get a nice boost of success, recognition, fame on Instagram, fame on uh, social media, fame on YouTube, just fame, popularity. The only thing that stands in your way is you. So run it up. Don't hold back. You know, when you have the energy to do what you need to do, do it. So don't get too caught up in your head by making negative scenarios like, oh, if I do it, they're going to talk about me. They're going to talk about your ass any damn way. Remain positive and be optimistic, okay? Because luck is really on your side for the whole year, Sagittarius, okay? All right, so let's see what cards come out for you, Sagittarius, for 2023. Just know that you are very lucky. Anything that you put your energy into, you will conquer it. It will transpire, so just be mindful of that. Okay, be mindful of your thoughts as well. Okay, so yeah, we got detachment. You letting go of everything and anything that no longer serves you. Crows could be very significant. 14, 14 on the clock. Just know that you are detaching. You are letting go whatever no longer serves you. And this is what's going to put you in this money making energy. Okay. 
A lot of you guys might want to go through some kind of detox, okay? You might even have a gerbil or a hamster or some shit like that. I don't know what that is, but you have some kind of animal that you keep in a cage for some of you guys. Also, seeing these crows are going to be very, very powerful and transformational for you um, in 2023 Sagittarius, okay? It's like some kind of Sabrina the Teenage Witch kind of energy. Like, they go to that crow again. <clears throat> All right. All right, so Cancer, what's coming towards you in 2023? Cancer, in 2023, it's about you having faith in yourself, in your abilities to manifest, to believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. Believing in you is basically the key to your life, Cancer. Knowing that you could do it alone without a partner without being married without having a spouse without having a friend you know just believing that you can conquer this all right your confidence is your key in 2023 if you don't have this confidence to do it alone or or just make ends meet on your own it could destroy you so come out of your shell in 2023 cancer don't be like i don't have talent i can't do this you could do it all you know cancers you guys are one of those people who are cheerleaders for other people oh yeah you got it you got it but then for yourself you're like oh i, I can't do nothing when you're the one who holds all the sources you could be very great at organizing keeping things intact okay but you don't look at these things as gifts when they really are cancer um it's time for you to be more determined so that you can focus on succeeding and you need to you know watch how you achieve the impossible so just be careful with janky ass um hookups or janky ass you know connects shortcuts really cancer all right so let's see what's coming towards you in 2023 <clears throat> for my cancers okay all right so you really need to express yourself express your ideas don't hold back don't be like i can't be introducing this on social media do what you want to everybody waiting for you to do it okay elephants could be important you could be a delta or something like that but just know that you know you're on the grid for a reason all of us have some kind of trait you could be seeing dragonflies very heavily in the summertime and even 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 butterflies even black butterflies but you need to like let go of your ego so a lot of you guys are like oh i can't do this i don't want people to judge me like i'm judging other people stop judging other people cancer if you're doing that okay and spread your wings and fly i want i'm here i want to fly away i don't know where i'm going and even though you don't know where you're going cancer still fucking fly away okay <laughs> okay all right so let's keep going all right so leo what's up okay let's see what's coming towards you in 2023 all right so leo it might be a very difficult year for you i don't want to sugarcoat shit for you but shit could be a little rocky depending on what side of the karma wheel that you could be on all right so the best thing i want to tell you is just stop trying to do everything yourself you know look at fiber if you can outsource release what no longer serves you so if this person is giving you headache they're making you cry these are indicators that they don't need to be there anymore um a lot of people are like well i don't know how to walk away from something what's making you sad they are cheating they're all hurting me then walk away from that okay start from there you don't have to do everything on your own leo but you could be feeling like you have to but you don't you need to consider purging any extra unnecessary stuff so even if you don't have anybody to rely on do you have shit in your closet is your laundry room dirty as fuck is your garage packed with a shit if you live in an apartment and you got that storage closet on your porch is it packed to the rim start to throw out things that no longer serve you so that you can make room in your life sometimes we don't understand that decluttering our situation making sure our house is clean and we don't have anything packed up in any caressance of little parts of our home will free up energy for us we will free up space we'll even bring in money but if we have all that stuff packed and cluttered none of that stuff can come to us okay um yeah so walking your 2023 you know a little bit more freer especially if you guys are like quarters okay all right so let's see what's going on with my leos which y'all can expect y'all got two cards too wow so y'all got divine abundance a lot of money is going to be coming to you guys and even a loyal connection a lot of you guys are already in a loyal connection you just need those finances to flourish the relationship 
also you got the same two cards as scorpio so maybe you and scorpio or you could have scorpio somewhere in your chart but you also have the right action so a lot of things that you've done up into 2023 has put you on a path that's giving you a lot of right action so a lot of you guys really need to take um you know charge of what you need to do um with these right actions some of you guys have not been doing the right action and that's why this year is going to be difficult but even though it's going to be hard still make the right action so the karma next year will be good all right what's up y'all all right so we're doing virgo predictions for 2023 i always do these predictions so that you guys can go back if you guys would like your own individual predictions y'all already know what to do we did take a little break that's why it seems a little weird right now but let's get over this awkwardness all right so virgo so in 2023 virgo let's just keep it 100 you're probably the most like very see things in the most logical motherfucking way sign in the zodiac but that doesn't make or mean that you always make the right decision or even go in the right the way that's most logical virgo but in 2023 it is going to encourage you to be more open to outside perspectives seeing views more widely okay virgo you could be somebody who only sees things one particular way you know and now it's not going to be that way anymore because something is just going to be so wrong or so incorrect or constantly pushing you in the same direction that you are going to be forced to think outside of the box and see things from another perspective especially if you let others express themselves without like criticism and you watch how it enriches your relationships there is a lot of good news coming your way virgo okay so if you're a kind of virgo who enforce your views on other people you could get like some harsh realities and if you're the kind of virgo who allows your views to just take the back burner you never stand up you're going to be a little bit more bolder okay you're going to find a balance here virgo okay but you're very logical and you got a lot of positive energy coming your way in 2023 all right so let me see okay all right, so Virgo, you are going to be releasing what no longer serves you. A lot of you guys are going to have a lot of issues with that because some of these things that don't serve you could be like beliefs or religious beliefs or, um, you know, eating habits or just knowing that one thing does affect the other. You know, some people be like, oh, a bird together to flocks. I don't fucking know the name of the, the thing, but, you know, birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> but you could be realizing that you're not this kind of bird that need to be flocking with these kind of birds. You know what I'm saying? Um, two, two, two on the clock. And before you could have been like, nah, you know, I got a lot of diverse friends. I can do this, but it's not going to be like this anymore. Okay. Every day it becomes easier in 2023 to let go of what doesn't serve you and just to move towards people who really do this, um, you know, really do serve your highest good really does uh, give you what you need, give you that stability, that growth. And some of these people are going to be just not in the 3D, like they're going to be your spiritual team that gives you this growth and gives you this higher uh, understanding. All right, Virgo, that's, that's real, okay? Um, the isolation has been real with you, Virgo. You really have went within, and it changed a lot of things for you um, on a grander scale. Some of you guys have really already started to see it, and some of you guys are going to continue to maintain it. I also want to say, Virgo, keep your relationships private. I feel like this year you've realized that you need to shut up, you know? And before, maybe you talk too much, Okay. All right, so let's get into it. Aries, what's up? Let's see what's coming towards my Aries in 2023. You're really coming into your own in 2023, Aries. You're like, fuck this. I'm coming out, okay? You really are getting a lot of financial stability and recognition. Like, you could be the one holding down your whole fort. You could be like, bitch, this is my household, <laughs> okay? But you really are feeling like you're having a lot of footing underneath you. You could be saving money. You could be being recognized as the breadwinner of your home. And maybe even a new romantic partner may be playing a factor this year. So Aries, look out because somebody could be coming on your path. This could be somebody that's long-term and rememberable now remember that 
you are one of the strongest signs in the zodiac so you will you are built to conquer and handle a lot of obstacles so don't play a victim um you know to challenges and stuff like that okay in 2023 it's really time for you to just focus on your goals and chase your motherfucking bag okay so aries this is gonna time be a time for you to really just focus on your money your stability your foundation you will have love in here there will be a romantic partner that stirs your interest in 2023 but i feel like you should go towards it i don't really feel like you have that scorpio energy where you get blindsided by love 444 on the clock okay um yeah look at that all right so your card for 2023 is love you still need to open up your heart to like love with regular people love with your co-workers love with your friends and family but i feel like this is more so your self-love this this card is red and that is all about our base chakra so stability foundation and feeling like you're you're finally enough the wow the globe on my thing is red too if you could see it right there so yeah you know this is going to be your divine source this is where you're going to pull all your power from aries okay and you just need to focus on your love a lot of you guys pour a lot of love to other people i want to show them that i got their back don't do that show nobody you have nobody's back have your own back now okay all right let's move right along so taurus what's up in 2023 this will be a year of learning okay so taurus you could have been out here just thinking you know everything but you don't know shit okay but in 2023 you're going to be learning about eating and how eating has something to do with the function of your brain doing talking the things that you put in your eyesight what you're seeing you know what i'm saying what you're watching what you're drinking a lot of you guys are drinking way too much alcohol it's going to start to taste very very disgusting very nasty and i'm not trying to wish it on you i'm just telling you you're going to be changing and with these changes come um these effects okay sorry my microphone was acting crazy now this is the kind of year where you're going to learn to actually be comfortable outside of your safety zone so if you're somebody who tries to stay in the box and you know stay on the name routine you know don't deposit your emotions it's going to be very difficult for you to do that okay also you're going to be easing up on being so goddamn stubborn and fucking hard-headed so tauruses if you're bullheaded you're going to realize that if you just let your guard down a little bit shit gonna go your way People going to give you what you want, okay? It will help you to follow your dreams more too. So try not to judge yourself too harshly. Um, believe in your talents and just go for it, Taurus, okay? So a lot of you guys have been holding yourself back, but I feel like now you're going to realize like the sky is the limit, okay? All right, so Taurus, you're going to be setting yourself free, okay? You're no, go you're no longer going to worry about how other people feel, what they think. All these constrictions, that restrictions that you have on yourself, you're going to be letting it go because you're starting to have resentment of why you didn't take action, why didn't you move, why didn't you make a better choice, you know what I'm saying? And you're realizing that you're blocking all your good. All you're getting left with, with is, is negative shit, okay? So you're releasing a lot of bonds, which is also allowing you to fly. I'm here like, I want to fly away. I don't know where I'm going. This came out in another reading. I don't know what sign it was, okay? But they could be in your chart. But you are flying, flying away. You are, you know, starting something new, okay? You're, you're being your more authentic self in 2023, which is also your consciousness is being upgraded as well, okay? A lot of these um, views that you had on yourself, Taurus, you're realizing that you're the one who limited yourself all along, Gemini what's good Gemini so this might be a very prosperous year for you Gemini lots of growth super expansion just be sure you know exactly what you want before heading into 2023 so set goals execute them get very detailed on what you want to do make lists so that the universe can guide you in the direction and you know steer you I'm seeing a ship right now so just you know allow your creativity really flow around you Gemini and 
you know, utilize your energy with something new. So if you have a project that you're starting and it's new, man, do that shit, okay? Don't talk yourself out of it, Gemini. Be the best version of yourself, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on with my Geminis. All right, so you're thinking about how you are going to leave your mark on the world, okay? Birds are very significant. You could be seeing a lot of fucking birds right now. And it's so crazy, Gemini, because I just saw a bird, and I'm like, isn't it wintertime? And the bird was so bright blue, it was crazy. So, Gemini, you're also trying to see how you're going to make your stamp on the world. You could be an artist. You could be somebody who creates things. But just know that this is a really important time for you to be authentic, okay? Every person has their own personal stamp their own personalized you know energy that they leave on earth school this is what they call earth it's a school and you want to make sure that yours is going to be long lasting okay i'm hearing beyonce i was here i leave my footprints on the sands of time okay so you know there was something that you have to leave behind gemini and you want to do that okay 10 10 on the clock you ain't letting nobody get in your way to do that and i feel like these these are the foundational years that's going to give you that footprint that you need on the sands of time for you okay all right so let's move right along to nobody yes okay i am done these are your 2023 predictions i love you guys so much uh, we will be moving back to our daily predictions every day bye y'all see you soon peace out i'm not dealing with nothing and nobody that'll cost me my peace my peace is number one priority and i'm gonna protect my peace at all costs